Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from GRC. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control a servo motor in Arduino Uno using a potentiometer. So this video will teach you two things. First, it will show you how you can read from a potentiometer. Second, it will show you how you can control a servo motor in Arduino. But before we start, click on the subscribe button for more upcoming Arduino tutorials. So the components needed for this project are a servo motor like this one here, there are different types of servo motors. This one is a small one. It is a, an SG90 servo motor that can go from 0 to 180 degrees. There is another type that can go from 0 to 360 degrees. Also, we need a motor shield like this one here. This is an Adafruit motor shield version 1. It can control four DC motors and it can control two stepper motors or two servo motors like I'm doing here. It has here two pins, SER1 and SER2, we'll see how we can control them. And it also has inputs for analog, A0 to A5 with their power supply. If you want to know how you can control different motors using this shield, you can watch the video that I'll leave in the uh, cards above. Also, we are using an Arduino Uno that's attached to the motor shield. And finally, we're using a potentiometer like this one here. This is the potentiometer, it has three legs. It is a 1K potentiometer, so it has the resistivity of 1, 1000 ohm. After knowing what are the components needed, let's see how we can connect them together. So as we knew before, we have this uh, motor shield. It has SER1 pins and SER2 pins, so it can control two servo motors or two stepper motors. Also, uh, we have here the zero, A0 to A5 pins, analog pins, and ground pins and finally the VCC pins here. If you get them without uh, being soldered, you have to solder them and it is an easy but delicate process. So we're going to connect the, uh, the potentiometer to the analog A5, which is the last one here. And I'm going to connect the servo motor, which is very easy to connect, to the SER1. So the servo motor has three cables. This one, the orange one, is the signal cable. The red one, which is the middle one, is the uh, five volt cable. And the last one, which is brown, is the ground. And here on the motor shield, we have signal plus and minus. So I'll connect it like this. The orange is on the signal. And now we have the servo motor connected. So don't forget the pin out of the servo motor is the orange on uh, the signal, the red on the VCC and the brown is on the ground. Now it's time to connect the potentiometer that we have. The potentiometer has this pin for five volt and the one here is for ground and the middle one goes to the signal. So you need in this case uh, if, uh, female to female cable. So I'll connect the gray one which is 5 volt to the 5 volt pins on the other fruit motor shield so i'll connect the gray one which is 5 volt to the 5 volt the gnd to the gnd and finally i'll connect the white one which is the middle pin on the potentiometer this is the middle pin I'll connect it directly to A5 because I'm using analog pin A5 to read data from this potentiometer. And this is how we finish the connection of our components. It's a very easy process as you saw. It's not hard at all. You only have to know what are the pins of the servo motor and how to connect them and what are the pins of the potentiometer and how to connect them. Now let's go to our Arduino IDE to know how we can program this project. And don't worry about the code because I'll leave it in the description below. So in our Arduino IDE, we first start by including uh, the library servo.h. And if you don't have the library, you just go and download this library from the include library here in the library manager. So you include servo.h. Then we create a servo object to control our servo motor. So we write servo, my servo. I named this uh, servo motor my servo then i created a new integer i called it pot pin equal a5 to show us that the potentiometer is connected to the analog pin a5 
And then I created another integer which is called val or value, value. It's a variable to read the value from the analog pin. So we write these codes before the void setup. Then in the void setup, I write my servo.attach10 and this attaches the servo on pin 10 to the servo object. So if you want to use ser1, we put dot attach 10. If you want to use uh, ser2, we put uh, attach 9. So this, this number selects which servo you want to use or to control. Then I write serial.begin 9600 to start the serial communication that we're going to use later to read on the serial monitor. Now in the void loop, we write val equal analog read pot pen. So this reads the value from the potentiometer and the values are from 0 to 1023 because it is an analog value and the analog values range uh, from 0 to 1023. Then we write val equal map val 0 1, 1023 to 0 180. So this map function, what it does, it takes the value that we read from the analog read pot pen uh, and the value, uh, we know that the value ranges from 0 to 1023 and we want to scale it down to 0 to 180. So 0 will, will stay 0, but one, 1023 will be 180. And the values between them will be mapped to values uh, between 180. Why we did this? Because when we want to use myservo.writeval, this function takes only values from 0 to 180 which are the degrees of the servo motor. So this servo motor can uh, take values from 0 to 180, which are the angles that this servo can go. If you have another servo that is 360 degrees, this number here will be 360 instead of 180. But because I'm using a servo motor that can go only 180 degrees, so we map these values that are coming from the potentiometer, we map them from 0 to 1023, uh, to uh, 0 to 180 so this will represent the angle that will uh, that the servo will go then i wrote this function serial.println uh, val to see if the potentiometer is working uh, right after that we write my servo.write and the value that we mapped already here uh, it will take values from 0 to 180 which represents uh, the degrees that the potentiometer will go. As you can see, the code is very simple. So after uh, we finish the code, we go, we connect our Arduino board, and then we go and select the port and make sure that the board selected is also right. I'm using an Arduino Uno, so I select Arduino Uno and the port is selected. After that, we upload our code to run, to run it on our board. So I'll start uploading the code. It's uploading and done uploading. If we go here to the serial monitor, it's giving us values 179 because the potentiometer is turned to this value. And I'll show you how this project works. So this is the servo. I attached uh, this rack so we can use it later for obstacle avoidance using the ultrasonic HCSRO4 and then I'll start using the potentiometer. So, as you can see, when I'm turning the potentiometer, now the value is zero and you can see that the angle is zero. Then, 90, 100, now it's 179. You can control it like you want. So as you can see in this uh, video, we learned two things. We learned how to read from a potentiometer and how to display the values on the uh, serial monitor. And then we learned how to uh, control our servo motor in our Arduino project. This project can be implemented later to, uh, so we can use it on some robots that we have like this one here for obstacle avoidance uh, projects. So if you liked this video and found it informative, don't hesitate to click on that subscribe button for more upcoming Arduino tutorials. And if you have any questions or comments that you would like to say or any videos that you would like to see concerning Arduino or any tech related subject, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day.